Hello guys, welcome to blogtechnica.com. Here I am Ravi Shankar from Blog Technica to show you how to uh, add a custom splash screen or a custom boot animation to your super awesome Android smartphone. Well, it's really very easy but uh, there are some requirements for that. Uh, you need to have your device rooted that means you need to have the super user permissions enabled then you need to get a small little app called ROM Toolbox Lite you see ROM Toolbox Lite yeah you need to have that you can get it for free from the Google Play Store so once you have that uh, open it when you open it for the first time it will ask you for super user permission just grant the permissions now you see there are three categories of tools over here one is tools uh, in which manage rom app manager and a lot of other things are present then there's performance where you can tweak the kernel and the overclocking thing via the CPU, cpu control you can tweak your build dot prop you can also boost your sd card via this you see uh, there are certain functions over here then you can tweak your memory manager uh, auto kill auto killing apps and uh, like uh, the amount of memory granted to the foreground apps and the background apps well uh, we are here to discuss about the splash screen and the boot animation so leaving all those things behind here we are so you see the interface category column uh, here are a list of things font installer boot animation themes manager icon changer mm, sorry icon changer then boot logo changer so you see the boot logo changer it is the splash screen manager well it works for only a list of phones like motorola milestone uh, then motorola world edition and all so like i have a motorola defy but uh, when I started using this thing, it didn't show me an option for Motorola Defy. But I used uh, the Motorola Milestone thing and it's working for me. So you see, there are a list of Android splash screens which you can use. So suppose I choose this Alienware logo. You see, a uh, menu pops up asking me to install, preview, download or favorite. So I select install and what happens and uh, this thing gets downloaded and is installed automatically onto my phone. Then this is how you can install a custom app uh, splash screen for your Android phone. You can just uh, go through this list, select your favorite of uh, the list uh, of the list of Android splash screens provided. And once you get your favorite you can just click on that thing and click on download to just download it and save it for later usage but if you want to download and apply this thing uh, immediately just click on uh, your favorite thing and click on install that's all so now we are done with this splash screen moving to the boot animations part when you click on the boot animation you will also see a list of boot animations present uh, for you to change you see there are many Alex Gray Android Glow Android logo well let me tell you there are heavy and memory it's like about 20 to 50 MB they consume when you download them so I have a list of them and I presently I'm using the default one for Canogen mod 9 which is uh, an android uh, an android bot standing in the middle with a uh, circle revolving, revolving around it which is not present here I think well what's present here is a lot more cooler uh, I've been using this thing Gears of War Halo 3 and then I have also used the Marvel, uh, Modern Warfare 2, Mortal Kombat Kratos, Mortal Kombat Scorpion. So I've used almost a lot of uh, boot animations from here. So let's say you like Mortal Kombat 
Kratos. So just click on this thing. Uh, like I said before, if you want to install it immediately, just click on the install button over here. And if you want to keep it for further usage and just want to download it, you can click it. Uh, click on the download link. So let's say uh, I want to apply one. So I love the stock Thunderbolt animation and I just want to uh, install it as my boot uh, current default boot animation so what I do is click on the install button what will happen uh, the custom boot animation will be downloaded to your SD card and then the installation process will begin all by itself automatically because you already select the install button right so as you can see I have uh, a smiley and a favorite star button highlighted uh, on the stock Thunderbolt it's because I have already downloaded this thing so what I just need to do is click on the install button and uh, ROM toolbox light will do it automatically for me it will install the stock Thunderbolt boot animation for my phone and once it's installed your phone will look super awesome when you restart it so you see installed stock thunderbolt so now i get back to my home screen as the tutorial is over and i would like to thank you for viewing it so you see the custom apps uh, splash screen and the custom boot animation is installed on your phone just uh, put everything off and restart your phone you'll see all those new tweaks you did so once again thanks for viewing this you are presently viewing uh, how to install a custom splash screen and a custom boot and mission at blogtechnica.com thank you